This is the new step, and it's probably the most popular machine in the gym. So it's a sit-down stepper, which will get you a cardiovascular workout, and it's really pretty much a full body workout, and it's very low impact. So you'll be seated, you won't be impacting those knee joints like you would when you're walking on the treadmill. So to set the new step up, the seat numbers are along the side here. So once you know your seat number, this front bar is going to adjust that. So you're going to lift it up and you'll slide it to whichever number you want to get to and you will lock it in. So one nice feature about the seat for the new step is that you can use this back bar and swivel it to the side and you can get in from the side as well. Um, there's also armrests which can be put down. That can make it easier to get in and out as well if you'd like those. So I'm going to flip them back and I'm going to flip the seat back forward again. Alright, so the next item you want to adjust are the arm handles. So to adjust those arm handles you're going to unscrew right here and then they will slide up or down. So there are numbers on the arm handle so you can get it exactly where you want and then you're just going to screw it in nice and tight. You can get in from either side, sit your rear end in first and then your legs come around and we'll go on to these pedals. Another thing to adjust on this one is the workload. So there is a knob on that right hand side underneath of the seat. If you push that knob further forward, that's going to make the resistance a little bit heavier and make it a little bit harder to pedal. If you pull the knob back, that's going to make it a little bit easier and put less resistance on those pedals. So you can see on the display right here, when you come up to the display, you can hit the reset button to turn it on or you can just start moving either one. The time is going to be on that top left corner there. The heart rate will always stay off unless you had your own chest strap that would, would, would monitor that, but that will always say off, so that's okay. This is your steps per minute, or how fast you're stepping, and this is where your workload is going to show up. So what we set with that knob on that right-hand side, it goes from 1 to 10. 1 is the least amount of resistance, and 10 is the most resistance. What you can also do, this will cycle through a series of different displays. So right now, the arrow is pointed to steps. So that's what it's going to be showing on this display. If I want to show calories, you can hit the select button. You can hit the select button again to go to METS. You can hit the select button again to go to watts. So wherever that arrow is pointing, that's what is showing up in the middle of the display. One other option you have with this is to enter in your body weight. So you do that using these arrows. It goes in five pound increments. So what that will do, if you do end up setting that, it will make the calories that it says that you're burning just a little more accurate. Okay, so now it's time to get moving. So you're gonna hold on to these handles and you're gonna just pedal away. So the nice thing about this is that you can go as fast or as slow as you'd like. It's not like a treadmill where you have to keep up with that belt to keep moving. So you can go as fast or as slow. You can pick up the pace a little bit or you can slow it down. So in order to know that the seat is set up correctly, when you fully extend your leg, you should have a slight bend in your knee joint. You don't want those knees to lock. So if they are locked, you might want to move that seat a little further forward. As far as the arm settings go, you want to have a comfortable reach. So you don't want to feel like you're overextending, but you want to feel comfortable through your range of motion here. And you can see how it's nice and low impact. It's a great cardio workout. And then when you're finished, you can just stop and the display will turn off on its own.